Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. I'm TNT Dynamite. <laughs> oh my this God. And we are starting the time. All right, we get 10 extra seconds for your joke. <laughs> Anyways, uh-huh. TNT, yeah. are you a person that when you work at a place and they find out it's like your birthday, I think I know the answer to this, or, <laughs> or something, and they want to like throw a work party for you, mm. you know? Are you one of those people who would rather they just don't know and don't throw a party, or do you like the party aspect of it? I think we should start out with you on this question. How, how do you feel about I hate, this? I hate, I hate it really? so much. I don't, I don't even usually tell people it's my birthday. Get the, wait a minute, really? At work, yeah. Like, really? I'll tell my friends and be like, hey, it's my birthday, let's go out and have some drinks or whatever. But I ain't t- at work, dude, I hate bringing attention to myself at work. I hate when, like, dude, this one time at work, they called a meeting... And, like, they pulled us all in this meeting, and then they, like, presented me with this award for being, like, the, the MVP of my department for the year. And it was the most awkward thing that ever has happened to me in my life. You didn't hold it up in triumph? Like, I mean, I tried to be like, oh, I'm so, thank you so much. I was like, you didn't I was like, bro. And, like, I, I, like, I wanted to tell my boss, like, you should have told me this was happening. Like, <laughs> uh, but, no, I don't really like that. I, like, I don't like having, like... I, I, like it work. Like with my friends, I'm fine with having a gathering on my birthday, but not. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I think I know how you are about your birthday, so I figure like at work it would be the same. But maybe you're the opposite. You don't tell your friends, but at work mm. you're okay with it. So in general, I'm pretty secretive about. I'm pretty tight lipped about when my birthday is because I I don't, I don't. I didn't know your exact birthday for the first like three years you lived here. That's I think. probably. I knew by, around when it was. That's by design. Yeah, I know. I don't. That's, I, that's, that's yeah. by design. I, I don't like to it. celebrate birthdays, and I don't like to celebrate other people's birthdays so you know i try to just yeah i feel like stay so if they do it at at the job because there has i've definitely in the in the field i work in definitely i work with a lot of people and they do tend to find out and they know what your birthday is it's on your paperwork i mean yeah they can find out you know they've actually fallen out of favor with that whole like oh we'll just do something for everybody's birthday and give them a little gift basket right right do something like secretive like that but uh they have found out and i've had people and say they want to cook something for me or like I've had people make a cake or something. And I'm usually like I'm like the reluctant but appreciative and just kind of like, oh, thank you very much, everybody. Right, right. Yeah. And like, I, I don't know. And when, when I'm put in situations like that, I always play the awkward role just because it, it feels natural to me because right, I'm naturally right. awkward. But I, I hate it. I do. Oh, I do. yeah. I don't I don't like being like uh, recognized exactly. at work. Like, and I know where this is going, too. So I, I know the story. You know already. the story? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, right before I tell the story. I did I did play really good guy. There was a girl that I used to work with. She's one of my best friends that I work with. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know how, like, she's very anxious and very, like, uh, she has a lot of anxiety and stuff. Mm-hmm. So she was pregnant having her, her kid, and I and I knew they were having a <laughs> surprise shower for her and not telling her. Oh, so, dirt bag. So I, uh, I, being the good friend I was, was like, hey, I'm going to ruin the surprise for you because I know you're going to hate it. And you would hate it a little less if you knew about it up front. But they're going to surprise you with a shower when you go in this meeting See? today. And she was like, See? oh, my God, thank you so much for telling See? me because that would have I would have lost. I would have been so overwhelmed. Um, she was very thankful that I told her. OK, because because she I know her. I knew her well enough to know that, like, if they threw her in that, she would have felt so awkward and anxious about it. Did, did she sit through it, though? Yeah, I mean, she, she still did it, but she was like, she was okay. like, "Oh my god, thank you for telling me. I, I it it's was, still gonna suck, but at least I can prepare for yeah, it." Yeah, it was just a heads up. Get the me- the mental preparation was right. Exactly, afforded. exactly. So yes, the story I want to tell is very much related. There was a guy who told his work, "I have anxiety. I do yeah. not want any celebration at yeah. all for my birthday." To which they had a party. They did. He had a panic attack, acted a fool, yep. and they fired him. <laughs> yep. And then they had to pay him four hundred fifty thousand dollars because he sued. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars, half a million dollars in damages because you had a birthday against his will. Now, apparently, uh, a little, a little bit more of a. Lore you know, to, a little deeper dive on this. Yeah, a little bit more lore to the story is that apparently he had some traumatic event happen on his birthday. Oh, okay. And he had actually been seeking therapy over it, and so it's not like he was just like, "I really hate birth. I really hate Monday." So nobody say Monday to me on Monday. No, he he'd had some shit go down in his life 
where he had a legitimate reason for not wanting to have birthdays be recognized. Right, right. Well, and probably, yeah, he had a panic attack and probably lashed out or said some really ignorant stuff. Because some people... I don't know if he even went that far. I think he just went out to his car and uh, apparently he had the panic attack out there. Oh, okay. He wasn't able to return to work. And then uh, apparently even after that, uh, he... uh, so the reason that he was fired is because they said he was not a team player because of the whole birthday event. Um, My lord. <laughs> so he's Why really he's suing for un- unlawful termination as well. And they were like, yeah, we just don't know if we can keep you around after. So there actually might have been more that was said during the party. But uh, yeah, yeah, I thought they said uh, what they said because of his behavior. But I know also sometimes when people have panic attacks, they yeah. not only freeze, they'll like lash out and say nasty stuff. It's like they you know what I mean? Like it's like they, yeah, really there's both ends of it. It's hard to control yourself when you're in the throes of a panic. Yeah, attack you either. Sure. Yeah, you either like shut down. Or you lash out. Those are like the two ends of panic attacks. Yeah. And, you know, I thought maybe he was like, F you, and like blew up at him for doing yeah, it. Yeah. But but I guess like, yeah, I guess his behavior could have also been he went out to his car and sulked. Yeah. And they were like, you're not a team player. I hate corporate America because of that, dude. <laughs> and honestly, I guess this wasn't necessarily like a case of uh, what you what would be called like m- malicious noncompliance, I guess. <laughs> Right. It's more or less they forgot. The company did birthday parties for everybody, all of their uh, uh, employees, and they just kind of forgot that he asked. But even still, you did violate what, yeah. he, what he wanted. I feel you, like that's a pretty big thing, though. If somebody like, comes to you and says, I don't want a party because I have literally have a, tra- a trauma, that yeah, like that would be something thing. you feel like you would remember. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cause, cause he's like, I'm sure he's the only one in the whole damn building that had that issue. You know what I mean? That ain't a common thing. No, it's really not. No, it's like, I mean, do I hate it? Yes. Do I freak out if it happens? No. (laughs) I'll be like, fine, I'll take my cake and I'll shut up. Like if I work <laughs> now, shut up. All they did for us at when when I worked in the office at my corporate job mm-hmm. is they they asked us when we first started what our favorite birthday dessert was, and at our team meeting they would get that dessert for us. So like okay. I was like, oh, I okay. like chocolate chip cookies. So like every July. Our July meeting, they would buy like two dozen chocolate chip cookies for the team to eat because it was my birthday and whatever. And whoever likes carrot cake or whatever they would get. And I was like, okay. Why is it tradition with birthdays to just eat food that's bad for you? I don't know. I don't really like cake, though. So Really? I mean, it's okay. But like, I'd much rather know, have man. like some some really good chocolate chip cookies or some brownies, other than like a cake. Bro, you get a nice moist Duncan Hines. I'm all about that. Yeah, but that's why on my birthday I make myself brownies. The kind that like sticks to the force, the fork when you press it down on. Oh it? yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know. God. I just I don't know. It's too rich for me, man. I got as I get older, like I can't I, all that super sweet stuff. But I will make some super fat boy brownies for my birthday, dude. Like put some chocolate brownies, chip cookie dough in them with some frosting. On top. Brownies ain't ain't sweet, you know. So yeah, brownies are brownies are like dense cake. It's really like a dense chocolate cake, basically. Yeah, and so I guess I like dense. I don't like how airy it is. <laughs> I want to stick to my ribs. <laughs> When I put it in there. the stick to the roof of your mouth. Yeah. Have you ever uh, have you ever had like a panic attack in like a like a, a situate like something like that come up and you like freak out a little bit or anything? That's a personal question. <laughs> I, mean, no, I mean that's fine. No, I just I just I, um, well, let me let me rephrase it. Do big groups and gatherings confronting you like that make you uncomfortable? Uh, so I've had like um, I've had a I've had full blown panic attacks in the past. I've also had like I have like many panic attacks. I used to at like grocery stores and stuff. I've gotten past that a little bit just because of, like crowds. Uh, yeah. When there's like a lot of people around, it does kind of like I don't know, man. That makes sense. It, yeah. it freaks me out sometimes. But I'm I'm honestly a lot better with it now. Um, and at work, I've had like like that was the last full blown panic attack where I was like, I'm going to die. I oh, need Jesus. to get out of this building. I'm going to die. It's 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 a weird weird thing to have happen to you. I don't know if you've ever had them, but I, it is very weird. And like, if you're like, I don't know if I've ever had a panic attack. You ain't had one. I think I don't think I've ever had a full blown panic attack. The the closest you know. I think I ever get to something like that is when someone else is losing control of themselves, and they're like, I'm like the one responsible to like try to like get them out of it. Mm-hmm. That makes me very uncomfortable. I'm not very good with other people's emotions. 
most of the time. Oh, okay. So like if someone's like crying and losing their ish, mm-hmm. it makes me very, very uncomfortable to the point where I almost like shut down and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Oh, God. I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> and if, if that doesn't work and they're like, well, I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Okay. Ah. Like that, that's the closest I get to like having like a shutdown. Okay. okay. But it's not, be, it's not because of me. It's because of somebody else. I don't know. It's weird, I guess, but. Yeah, mm-hmm. but no, I hear I hear that they're nasty. That's why they're called uh, panic attacks. Uh, and they're, they're they're nothing nice, man. man. So, but nice. anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.